Millions of Americans suffer from hypothyroidism, but there's still much debate about what type of therapy is best for the disorder. Our guest today, Dr. Rita Aram, an acclaimed author, director of the Texas Thyroid Institute, and an expert in the field of endocrinology, brings a combined, balanced approach to the subject, and the results are turning heads. Welcome, Dr. Aram. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very pleased to be here. I know you were recently featured in the Wall Street Journal as an expert in the field of thyroid disease. So first of all, tell us, what are the biggest challenges for someone with hypothyroidism? Hypothyroid patients face numerous challenges, and it's my opinion that there are three major challenges that have a, a significant impact. The first one has to do with uh, getting the right diagnosis and being diagnosed uh, with the condition. Hypothyroidism is often diagnosed through blood testing, and there are millions of people who have low-grade hypothyroidism or minor thyroid abnormalities as far as testing, sometimes borderline, and many of the patients may have thyroid tests that are still within the normal laboratory range. And physicians may view this as a trivial abnormality and uh, that uh, does not require any treatment. The, third, the second uh, challenge has to do with the adequacy and appropriateness of thyroid hormone treatment that they receive. There are two extreme approaches to treating hypothyroidism. And both approaches may not be conducive to overall wellness and resolution of the symptoms. And the third challenge has to do with the weight. Uh, hypothyroidism causes slowing of metabolism and weight gain. And trying to lose weight when you are hypothyroidism is extremely difficult. You're the director of the Texas Thyroid Institute in Houston. What are you doing to solve all of these challenges that you've just shared with us? The treatment program that I designed for my patients is a physiological treatment that combines both uh, thyroid hormones that the gland normally produces. Uh, I also recommend uh, supplements to make thyroid hormone work more efficiently and also to address the needs of the immune system. Uh, we advocate uh, mind-body techniques. We emphasize the importance of nutrition and uh, implement uh, my diet program. And we look at food sensitivities and many other facets of uh, thyroid disease. Uh, it's a comprehensive mind-body program that I featured and highlighted in my, one of my books, The Thyroid Solution. Excellent. Well, in this 21st Century Health Field Report, we visit the Texas Thyroid Institute and talk to real patients about Dr. Aram's holistic approach. Many people struggle with weight management, which may be a result of thyroid problems. Dr. Aram of the Texas Thyroid Institute has designed a comprehensive mind-body program which can treat hypothyroidism and is also conducive to weight loss. I addressed all of my symptoms with two different doctors and was told that I was in a normal thyroid range. Um, I had everything from dry hair to hair falling out, dry skin, my nails were really brittle. Um, I also had extreme like brain fog, forgetfulness, couldn't really come up with the words, just felt really slow. Um, and I also had extreme PMS symptoms and um, weight gain and it just it I felt like I was going crazy because I was told I was in the range. So uh, after spending time uh, just on Synthroid and seeing limited results uh, and regressing uh, back to some of the symptoms that I had before uh, going on medication I, I decided to come see a, a thyroid specialist and uh, I am so fortunate Dr. Aram's here in my hometown. Uh, so as soon as I saw him uh, he initially recommended putting me on uh, a much more a regimented uh, program, uh, not only including medication, uh, but also including diet uh, and supplements. And uh, I've found that all of those combined have, have given me a new lease on life. Uh, now I've lost 40 pounds. I just give thanks to God for Dr. Aram's help. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling energy. Um, 
Um, my relationship is better with my husband. Um, I have less memory fog. Um, I had lost a considerable amount of hair recently, and that has stopped, and my hair has started to regrow again. And um, overall, I, I think I'm about 50 to 60% better than when I came in here four weeks ago. Dr. Aram's comprehensive treatment methods for hypothyroidism use medications that can mimic what the thyroid gland normally does. When I heard Dr. Aram had a diet, I was so excited. I had to try it. My total weight loss as of now is about 90 pounds. And I started seeing my weight loss after three weeks. And for a year and a half, I've been averaging a total of two pounds a week consistently. I'm down to a size 26 pants, which that never happened to me before. It's the best. The thing that I really love is that there are some thyroid supplements that I've been able to take. And I know that he's researched exactly what the thyroid needs and therefore I don't have to do all that. I don't have to go buy a bunch of different things and hope I'm hitting the right combination. It's all there in one supplement for me to take and I know that what, whatever's in it is not going to hurt my thyroid because that's important too. There are a lot of supplements out there that you can take that might actually do damage to you. So the combination of all the, you know, the new medications, the supplements and the probiotic have really made a big change for me. I feel really great. I feel sharp again and like there's not a fog. A fog has been lifted. Um, I, my hair is better, my skin is better, my nails are better. Um, my sleep has completely 180'd. So I have to say that at the end we're doing so, so well. There's a difference in our lives. Uh, we're happy. I have my daughter back. I have my life back. That's it. It's a happy ending. Dr. Aram, what is hypothyroidism? What causes it and, and how common is it? Hypothyroidism is simply a deficit in the manufacturing of thyroid hormone by the thyroid gland. 10% of people have uh, an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism. It's amazing. So, uh, in the United States, so I believe that over 30 million people have uh, hypothyroidism. So can you describe the two types of treatments that are typically offered to patients? Uh, before I answer this question, let me give you a brief uh, background. The thyroid gland produces two hormones, T4 and T3. T3 is much more potent than T4. T4 comes, is produced by the gland, the thyroid gland only. Mm -hmm. However, T3 comes from the thyroid gland, but also from the conversion of T4 to T3 in the body. So most conventional doctors tend to prescribe T4 only medication, assuming that the person will get the T3 needed from the conversion of T4 to T3. Mm -hmm. But that's not necessarily the case. Patients mm. who are treated with T4 may be missing some T3, which may have some impact on the person's health I shouldn't say health, maybe symptoms and wellness in general. Many other health professionals and alternative doctors in particular uh, use high doses of armor thyroid. Armor thyroid comes from uh, pig thyroids. It's an extract of uh, pig thyroid that contains inappropriately high amounts of T3 and when used in high doses, that will induce an imbalance of thyroid hormones in the system because it's not appropriate for the human being. So high amounts of armor thyroid can cause symptoms and sometimes bad effects okay. like uh, heart irregularities, anxiety, wow. decreased muscle endurance, and even weight loss. So tell us about your combination approach and why this is better than the two approaches you just talked about. See, I believe in physiological treatments and treatments that mimic what the gland normally does. And the gland produces T4 and T3. Mm -hmm. There are many patients who are happy with just T4, perhaps because of the T3 deficit does not cause any consequences as far as how they feel. But many patients out there are sensitive to minute deficit uh, in T3. 
So I designed treatment programs based on uh, listening to the patient and I combine the two hormones, T4 and T3, in a physiological way. And the treatment has to be really tailored to the needs of the patients based on thyroid testing and also the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Each person may need specific amounts of the two hormones, T4 and T3. Hmm. This is the reason why when I see patients who have been treated with either high doses of armor thyroid or patients who have been treated with T4 medication only who come to see me and I put them on my tailored program, uh, treatment program, the majority of, of them will feel at their best and there is basically a resolution of uh, all the symptoms. Hmm. Well, that makes sense if you're really giving them a customized treatment. What are the most important supplements that you recommend to patients to promote thyroid health and mind-body wellness? There are many vitamins, antioxidants, and minerals, and many other ingredients that are essential, in my opinion, to maintain thyroid gland health, to address the immune system, and also, as importantly, to enhance thyroid hormone efficiency in the body, for thyroid hormone to work uh, at its optimal level. Unfortunately, there are so many multivitamins and antioxidants out there, the, uh, uh, they are not necessarily complete or well balanced to fulfill all the needs of thyroid patients. And that's the reason I designed Thyroid Life Optima, which is uh, a comprehensive mix of uh, vitamins, antioxidants, and many other ingredients that are uh, that would be extremely helpful uh, for to achieve uh, the efficiency of thyroid hormone and to address the immune system needs. I also advocate uh, omega-3 fatty acids, which are important for the immune system and also for metabolic effects of thyroid hormone. They are also good for the brain. Uh, EPA and DHA are the two most important ones. I also recommend the probiotic 7-7, uh, seven, seven, which is a line of probiotics combining seven uh, bacteria to reduce inflammation in the GI tract so the immune system will be less challenged hmm. when you reduce the GI tract inflammation and the systemic inflammation. What are the fundamentals of your diet and what makes your diet unique and effective? For a diet to be effective long term as far as weight loss, healthy weight loss, the diet has to be designed to rebalance the hormones that regulate metabolism. And the two, two of the most important uh, hormones that regulate metabolism are leptin and uh, thyroid hormone. As I said, thyroid hormone is the master hormone, the touchstone of metabolism regulation. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> my diet actually uh, has been designed to boost thyroid hormone efficiency, to enhance fat burn, and to raise metabolism, to boost metabolism. It's a high protein diet, and it's unique because it combines two proteins at each meal. Mm -hmm. So there is a variety of uh, proteins that the person eats to provide the best amino acid profile that has the ability to boost the efficiency of thyroid hormone in the cells, in the mitochondria. Wow, very interesting. It's also a high fiber diet at each meal and low glycemic at each meal with the lowest glycemic at dinner time. It also has some mid, uh, Mediterranean diet properties. So as you can see, uh, my diet uh, fulfills many properties that have been scientifically shown to uh, promote long-term and healthy weight loss. Finally, in conclusion, I'd like to ask you, what are your hopes in the future for the treatment of this disease? Well, I hope, and uh, maybe the trend has begun, uh, that uh, more doctors uh, become more meticulous about uh, detecting uh, hypothyroidism, even in its minor uh, stage, uh, and uh, be more meticulous in the treatment uh, of uh, hypothyroidism and perhaps learning to use more comprehensive, more holistic um, 
uh, methods uh, to uh, to have to make hypothyroid patients feel at their best uh, and not struggle with uh, annoying, sometimes devastating symptoms. Hmm. Well, this has certainly been an educational experience. Thank you so much, Dr. Aram, for sharing your insights and the successes that you've seen at the Texas Thyroid Institute. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure being here today. For 21st Century Health, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.